Hi guys, so if you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll know I love using the Army Painter Speed Paints. And yeah, and obviously it's great to know how they look on a finished sort of, uh, well, on a model. Uh, and because I do the old sort of slap chop painting technique, I obviously prime my miniatures in black, dry brush grey, dry brush white. So the, uh, the colours of the speed paints come out a little bit different to how they would do if they were over a white sort of prime base. As you can see, especially on this brown, um, yeah, it comes out a lot darker than what's on the bottle. So having these, uh, these wonderful bottle tops makes it a great way of seeing exactly how these paints are going to look over, well, over the miniatures I'm going to paint. And obviously there's a nice fun looking thing. So to get these, I originally went on to Thingiverse, as that's normally my first port call when I'm looking for sort of STL files, as well, these are all free, which um, yeah, I love free stuff. And I typed in the word Buddha because, well, I did one of these before in a video and I loved how they looked. I actually had the Batman Buddha. Uh, but as you can see, I've gone on and got, uh, well, loads of different Buddhas, um, which are pretty awesome. They also do Buddhas there with no heads. So if you want to make up your own sort of style Buddha, um, you can. So obviously I made these into lids and I've got this little template cutout. So you'd have seen this in a previous video where I used a 3D scanner to scan the top of the lids. Uh, this way I know when I do this cutout inside these little, uh, these little Buddhas, these are going to screw on nice and firmly. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's no worries of the paint drying out or any of that kind of stuff. Um, or cross threading as this is going to be a nice sort of, uh, well, a nice tight fit because it's the same cutout as the, the lids that are already on there, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, it simply is a case of getting the Buddhas. Um, obviously I've resized these all to the, uh, the same one as the Batman that's in the background there because I know he's the right size. Um, and then yeah, it is a case of trying to get the cutout inside the miniature, um, ideally as central as possible, but making sure that none of it sort of cuts through any of the miniature, otherwise, uh, well, there'll be holes and gaps and the like. And then, yeah, it's a case of just combining these together. So I'm using these, uh, it's a very simple package called Tinkercad. Um, again, my 3D modeling skills are very, very low to say the, to say the least. Uh, but again, this is another free bit of software. Um, and it is, it's very simple, easy to use. Um, and yeah, I love it just for simply like adding things, taking things away. And as you can see, um, yeah, by combining the cutout and the miniature, it takes the, um, the cutout away and leaves a nice threaded bit on the inside, which is, uh, yeah, which is pretty awesome. Well, as you can see, there's a bit of a mistake there. I did cut out too much. I did rectify that before actually printing uh, this little guy out. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a case of going through all the miniatures that I've got doing the, uh, the exact same thing. So nice and simple, say this software, very easy to use, uh, very basic, but uh, for my needs, it's awesome. And then yeah, simply a case of just saving these down as STLs, and then I'm printing them out on the Eligu Saturn 3. Um, lovely printer, lovely big build plate. Um, obviously far, far too big for what I need to print these things on. I mean, I can print loads of these out. So obviously if I was gonna print these out for every single speed paint I've got, um, yeah, I could get loads on this table at once. Um, but the one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some supports on these. This is one thing where normally when I get miniatures from, uh, from well, from anywhere, I do prefer them pre-supported. Um, even though this software is generally they put supports in quite nicely, yeah, sometimes you really want the professionals to do it. Uh, but I was lucky enough that uh, the supports that I put on here were adequate enough. Um, yeah, this is the only time I actually have failures when 3D printing. And it's generally when I put supports on. So yeah, anytime I do put supports on and it works, it's like, yeah, that's a big bonus. So that goes onto a little USB, pop that in the side, and then we're ready to print. So I'm using some new resin for this, and this is by Sunlu. Um, they kindly sent me some to try out, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got obviously the exposure times I think on it, but I generally just stick with the bog standard sort of generic settings. Um, yeah, so new, new um, resin. Pouring it in, love to try out new stuff because, well, they're generally improving on everything else, which is really good. And so this Eligu Saturn 3, big old build plate, big old vat, so you really can print some big stuff in one go. Uh, but obviously in this case, I'm not, I'm just printing out some uh, some diddy little things. Um, yeah, a couple of little buttons to push and away it goes. So I think this only took, I think it's about an hour and a half-ish, uh, give or take, I can't really remember. Um, and yeah, they all came out perfectly. So say first time trying this Sunlu resin, it's worked a treat. 
And as you can see, everything's come out. And yeah, my supports, um, yeah, they've worked a treat as well. Which, as I say, is, um, it can be hit and miss when I do my own supports. Although sometimes I let the machine do the supports, and then you can go in and manually add more. And uh, sometimes that is, uh, yeah, that is what I do. So usual thing, they go in the IPA cleaning solution, um, and then go in some some warm water just to make it easy to uh, to remove the supports. Which, as you can see, yeah, they come off a treat, which is really good. Um, again, I always sound surprised when I do my own supports and things work really well. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this stuff comes off nice, but as you can see though as well, with this uh, this Sunlu resin, it's got a bit of flex to it, which is really really nice. Um, it's not quite like rubber, but it's better than the normal resin, uh, which can be very brittle, um, and generally can snap. So even when I, I warm up the old resin, when I'm doing this part, the um, yeah the supports are sort of normally stiff, uh, not flexible. But yeah, this stuff's coming off really well. So must admit, yeah, hats off Sunlu. Uh, yeah, this resin is nice because it does seem to be a combination of your sort of normal resin and a kind of a rubber, as in it does have a bit of uh, a bit of flex to it rather than the usual well snapping. So that's all the things done. I've stuck them on some old bottles to prime them in black, um, just so they're ready to save. Obviously, when I paint, I always do the slap chop method, which is painting in black or priming in black, dry brush grey, dry brush white. So for me to see exactly how these paints look. That's exactly what I need to do here. So I've got a nice dry brush there, and my good old textured dry brush palette, which yeah, I'm, I'm using this so often it's it's untrue. And and then just a generic sort of grey. I kind of go for a grey that's kind of in between black and white, so not too dark, not too bright. And then yeah, textured dry brush palette, uh, basically to get off the excess on my dry brush. So then when I go onto the model, I know I've got the exact right amount. Um, and yeah, never put too much on in that first brush which is just awesome. So as I say, I obviously I want to see how these miniatures look um, dry brushed in the grey and the white so then I know when I come to use whatever speed paint it is it's gonna look, uh, yeah, it's gonna look just perfect. So again, I'm gonna try and leave some links down below guys to where you can get these particular miniatures. As I say, these are all from Thingiverse, they are all free which is awesome. Uh, but if you want the actual cutout that I use to obviously put inside these so they fit the bottles um, yeah, that can be found on my Patreon page. Um, yeah, so go go check that out. So that was scanned in. I will try and leave a link as well to the video showing me using the scanner. Um, fairly simple, but um, yeah, very effective. And I say, you've been able to scan things in. Uh, yeah, just makes the whole 3D printing process even more fun. So not only can I go online and try and find things, I can scan things in. Um, yeah, and print them out, which is just great. And I say, I just love these little Buddhas. Um, well, they're cute, they're fun, and the fact there's so many different types out there is just awesome. Uh, but so I definitely did see a Buddha without a head, so you can sort of, uh, well, take heads from other places and just pop them on the bodies. Or if you're a 3D model maker, then you can definitely make and amend, well, whatever kind you uh, you want, really. So here we go, so these are the, the paints I've got so far. So all the paints I have got from Speed Paints, um, I have already done the lids. Um, and again, I did the same method I'm doing here. I painted all these lids in black, dry brush grey, dry brush white, because say, I wanted to sort of make sure I could see exactly how they look. And because some of the bottles, yeah, they do come out differently to how the um, the images or the colours are on the front of the bottle. Um, but say, I just want to do some fun ones and say these, these sort of... Uh, bottle lid tops being the Buddhas um, yeah just a bit of fun and it goes to show that you can do any kind of bottle top lids you want all you got to do is use that cutout that I've got um, and yeah you know you're gonna get the perfect fit and I say the, when these go on the bottles it screws on nicely there's no air leakage so the paint's not gonna dry out in any way um, yeah and all's good and I say these just look <laughs> they just look amazing I can't get over how much I love these little figures uh, they are awesome. As I say, obviously I've printed out the ones that I, I kind of preferred, uh, but I did download about 20 or so of, uh, of these different types of Buddhas. Uh, but say, so, yeah, I've definitely gone for ones that I really like, as in, yeah, I love Doctor Who, I love Star Wars. So yeah, so with the speed paints, obviously if you are new to them, um, in general most of them work awesome. The metallic ones, yeah, they're not bad. Um, the coverage, as far as metallic paints go, they go on beautifully. Uh, but they don't have quite the same effect 
or look as the rest of the speed paints as in most of the speed paints they kind of give you free variations um, obviously the darker areas the nooks and crannies will be like the darker version the normal flat areas obviously a normal version and any raised highlighted areas are well you know where I'm going with this they're highlighted but with the, um, the metallic paints they seem to have just two colors the sort of normal color and then the darker color in any nooks and crevices and there we go so these are all on top of the uh, the lids um, and yeah I think these look great so imagine doing all of these uh, to whatever sort of little miniatures you, you wanted um, and so yeah they look great and a great way of showing the colors and so especially this is one of the brown ones it is definitely looks different on the slap chop version obviously if I sprayed this white then it probably would look more like it does on the bottle uh, but yeah I generally don't spray anything white so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a quick, short, little fun one to sort of show what you can do with the bottle top lids. And yeah, definitely this is something I think you guys should all do with your army paint, the speed paints, just so you can see how well it comes out. And I say the Sunlu um, resin that I've used, as you can see there, his little nozzle bit, um, yeah, it's got a bit of flex to it, which is really good. Because generally with the resins, they are rock hard. And I say if you drop them, they just shatter. Whereas this stuff, I think it would drop. Um, and yeah, there's more chance of it surviving. So here's the other ones I've done. Again, say I've done all the lids just because I want to see how they look. Um, and yeah, while well, I say this does work and looks good, um, yeah, these are definitely much more fun to uh, to look at. I just want to say a big thank you to all my patrons and Chaos Cards and the Colour Forge for helping support the channel. It really does mean so much as it means I can continue making fun videos and, well, generally being a big kid. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments down below, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.